Hi, I'm, I'm here at ISEC in Seattle with Theo Michelot uh, from the University of Sheffield. He's uh, got a paper in press at the moment in MEE and he just gave a, a lovely talk yesterday. So thanks for joining us, Theo. Oh, thank you very much. So um, could you tell us a bit about the package? So yeah, it's in our package that we just got out about six months ago. It implements hidden Markov models for the analysis of uh, animal movement data. So it's uh, move, move HMM. Move, move HMM is the name, yeah. 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 Capitals for HMM. Yes, that's it. Yeah. It's uh, available on CRAN, so now it's, uh, it's out there. Um, we've um, published three versions, I think, by now. And so we're still working on it. But yeah, So we're really hoping that it will help people kind of use hidden Markov models for animal movement. Okay, so is it kind of putting together lots of functions that were already available, or is it sort of doing things so in a new way? Or? The idea is that the method is out there for has been out there for a long time, like so, yeah, maybe a bit more than ten years, and only very recently people noticed that they could use the very kind of efficient uh, hidden Markov model machinery on animal movement as well. So um, the literature has kind of exploded with this in the past few years. And at some point, we really felt that we would need a, a common software to make those methods available and kind of um, speed it up as well to help people kind of deal with um, with big data sets and stuff. So we we kind of gathered all that into one package, uh, so that people wouldn't have to kind of write their own custom uh, hidden Markov model implementation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So so who do you think should read this paper? Oh, so I it's really for ecologists, I would say, uh, who are interested, who have animal uh, tracking data, movement data, and who are interested by the hidden Markov model approach. So um, instead of having to kind of yeah deal, deal with it themselves and maybe write their own code, they can simply really easily kind of uh, carry uh, out their analysis with the package. And, and the paper is here to kind of describe the package more formally and give an idea of what it's doing, providing an example, etc. Yeah, speaking of examples, it was quite an important example, I thought. Was yeah, so so we were thinking of a, of a study species. Uh, at the time, I was uh, in St. Andrews in Scotland, and we were unsure about what, what species would be best. And we ended up uh, studying the uh, wild haggis, it's called. So it's a, it's a Scottish animal. And we thought that it was interesting because, um, well, it has very uh, peculiar movement patterns because it, it, it tends to run around a... Uh, Hills in the Scottish yeah, Highlands. Yeah, unequal legs. So yeah, it, it has unequal legs to run around the hills in the Highlands. So it has very uh, interesting movement patterns. And mm -hmm. um, we, we decided to work on this because also it doesn't get much attention in the literature so far. Yes, yes. It's also a real problem for farmers, I imagine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, a lot of soil erosion. Uh, well, <laughs> obviously, and we wanted to kind of have a conservation plan to know which habitat is actually better for them. Yeah. yeah. Do you know if that's where golf came from? Because they must leave big holes on the ground with those big legs. I oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it actually reminds me a bit of drop bears. A drop, drop bears, bears so, in Australia. So it, it was the second idea, it was another idea that we had because Toby Patterson, who's involved in the project, yeah. is from Tasmania. So Yeah, they're a real problem there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's dangerous just, for tourists, from what I understand. Well, it's okay as long as you don't camp under trees. Obviously, obviously. Yes. So, so what's next? So um, there are plenty of other extensions. In the literature, there's a lot more uh, than what's in the package so far. So uh, there are ideas like, for example, allowing for biased random walks, which are not yet in the package. So far, we're only dealing with uh, correlated random walks or stuff like random effects or uh, also um, yeah, plenty of other ideas that we could include in the package we haven't yet. The idea is that uh, it's not straight, straightforward to, to develop them. So we're really hoping that people will kind of um, help us prioritize uh, the different extensions that we could include and in the future. So we're still developing it. The last uh, version came out a couple of uh, weeks ago. Uh, so we're still working on it. So if users could just tell us what they would like to see in it in the next version, it would be very helpful. Okay. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you very much.